Hey, what's up guys? Kool-Aid here. Today we're going to be talking all about Artie, the recently improved Merc who takes airstrike spam to a whole new level. So starting off with his stats, Artie has 120 hit points, tying him with Skyhammer and Red Eye for the third most. He also has a modest speed rating of 400, tying him with the previously mentioned Mercs for the third slowest as well. However, that slow speed rating isn't too much of a factor if you're playing at Artie's optimal range, which is medium to long. And the reason for this optimal range is his weapons. Artie has three assault rifles to choose from, two of which are three round burst, and the third is single fire. Now since the former are very similar to each other. Let's talk about the Dreiss first. That's the single fire rifle. It's going to do 25 damage per body shot at a rate of fire of 300 rounds per minute. It also has a 20 round magazine that reloads at a speed of 2.2 seconds. And lastly, I don't have any hard numbers. I did, however, do some light testing and the Dreiss appears to have little or possibly no side to side recoil. Instead, does have a decent amount of vertical recoil. And we all know that vertical recoil is probably the easiest to control and counter. So it's not too bad. Now moving on to the BR-16 and the Stark AR. Both are going to do 15 damage per body shot at a rate of 220 rounds per minute. However, it does come in the form of three round bursts. Each burst does have its own slight recoil as well as a 0.07 second delay in between those bursts. So as stated before, if you have the time, try to aim for the lower part of the head or even the very upper part of the chest depending on your range. Obviously easier said than done in an actual game, unless of course your enemy is standing still. But back to the stats, we know that both, both burst rifles put out the same damage. So what actually makes them different? Well, not much. The BR-16 damage is going to drop off uh, just a little bit faster, ever so slightly. It's pretty negligible, um, but it is going to reload at 2 seconds, where the Stark AR is going to reload at 2.1 seconds. Again, not much of a difference. Both have a pretty light recoil pattern. The BR-16 is going to recoil up and slightly to the left, and the Stark is going to recoil up and slightly to the right. All this stuff is pretty negligible. The biggest difference that I can see um, is that the BR-16's magazine will hold 27 rounds, whereas the Stark's mag is only going to hold 24 rounds. It doesn't sound like much, but that one extra three round burst uh, from the BR-16 will make the difference more than you might think. Also, the BR-16 has iron sights, where the Stark does have a scope with very low, low zoom. Now, you might think that scope is kind of a positive. However, with the lack of zoom um, and the fact that it takes up just a massive portion of your screen, I'm not a fan of the scope whatsoever. Now, all three weapons are decent when using them at that optimal range. However, I would go with the BR-16 or the Dreiss. Personally, I prefer the BR-16 as I feel like I need to ADS from time to time with the Dreiss. And I'm not a huge fan of ADSing and I really don't have to do that at all with the BR-16. And also, it just seems like with three bullets per trigger pull instead of one, I can land shots a little more consistently in those times where I really have to spam the trigger. Now, that's not to say it's better. It's just a preference, you know, in the right hands, the Dreiss is pretty nasty. As for Artie's abilities, we'll start with the ammo packs. He can carry a maximum of four without augments, and they recharge about every eight seconds per pack. The recharge can be reduced by 15% by getting a direct hit on one of your teammates. Now, they are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go into them much further. However, I cannot stress enough how important it is to lay ammo down for your team. Just hit Q or E or whatever button you have ammo packs bound to and spam them all over hell. Now moving on to Artie's primary ability, it is the artillery strike. You can have a maximum of two artillery strikes available at once and each one recharges about every 20 seconds. They are called in through the use of a laser de designator that takes about one second to activate. However, if you are getting shot while trying to designate an area, it will push that timer back and can take much longer. So try not getting shot while you're designating an area. Also, this probably goes without saying, but you cannot call in artillery strikes under any form of cover, which will limit its usefulness in certain areas of maps. And we'll talk more, a little more about the artillery strike in a minute. First, I want to talk about loadout cards. The augments we're looking for mainly are Exploded Dendrum. You know, after that, I would actually say Focus if you like to ADS, if the augment is actually fixed. I haven't heard 
lately if the augment's working. I know previously it was broken and not doing anything. However, none of Artie's loadout cards with the Drice actually have Exploded Dendrum or focus on them so that's kind of a bummer if you're a fan of the Drice. So to me the obvious choice is the B81 Aggressive Rifleman. It features the BR-16 primary, Cell Stat 40 is a secondary, and the Beckel Combat Knife for melee. For augments on here we have Exploded Dendrum for that 10% blast radius to artillery strikes, uh, we have Drilled for the 20% faster reload speed, and Chopper for the 20% increase to melee damage. That's not real useful but two out of three isn't bad. So just a few tips on using Artie. I'm sure there are some run and gun badass Arties out there, but you're generally gonna wanna stay at medium to longer ranges, or you might as well just be playing a different Merc. Both his weapons and his primary ability are effective at nearly any range. The only classes that can really outgun you at these ranges are Red Eye and obviously Vasily. Now depending on your range, even someone like an equally skilled Skyhammer using a Temek or a M4 could be at a disadvantage against any of your weapons. Now if you do get ten pinned down by a Vasily and feel the need to take him out, 80-80 or you know quick back and forth strafing is your best friend. Although with your lack of speed, a skilled sniper should be able to take you out more often than not. So it might be best just to pick a better fight or move to a different position and try to outsmart him instead of outshooting him. If you do find yourself in close quarters combat, accuracy is key. If you don't land at least one headshot, headshot chances are a good player is going to take you out almost every time. So maybe it's best to just run away um kidding of course well kind of but mainly you want to try to avoid cqc unless you're confident in that area unless you're a really good player um me on the other hand i try to stay at that optimal range because i'm not that great with these weapons in close quarters as for the artillery strike again it's pretty self-explanatory it's used similar to sky hammer's air strike however the much lower cooldown and it's near endless targeting range make it a lot more versatile in my opinion the obvious use is taking out evs and it's typically going to take about three salvos to do so but since most ev escort maps are already going to have a couple sky hammers or auras on ev duty I'll often use the precision aiming to call an airstrike right behind the EV to kind of just either slow down repairs, take out any equipment behind the EV, basically anything behind the EV that I cannot see and shoot with my gun. Now, if nobody else is dealing with the EVs, then obviously that is your main priority, your main goal. Also keep in mind and don't forget that you can call in two strikes in rapid succession. So if you have a lot of infantry pinned in one spot, don't be afraid to call an airstrike and then call in another airstrike or another artillery strike right away in that area where you think they're actually going to run to or just try to cover as much ground as possible. Basically, you're hoping to get them in at least one strike. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I have. If you have any other tips or any advice or anything I missed on playing Artie, leave that in the comment section. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later.